I mean, those things could do some damage. Oh shit, we had twins! Oh shit, we had twins! Come here, big guy! What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved. And that's right, you guys, and oh snap! It's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy freaking Friday. That's right. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Thank goodness it is freaking Friday. Hopefully, everybody has had a wonderful start to their Friday and is ready for the weekend. So, guys, what did we do in the last episode? Well, in the last episode, guys, we were super busy at the base, but we also did some stuff with our crocodile, our sarcosuchus, if you will. But let's go and get a recap of what we did over here at the uh, at the castle grounds and at the village and stuff like that. We're having a hellacious downpour at the moment, so I apologize about that. But this right here, the hotel, I think it looks so freaking cool, guys. It came out so nifty, and today we're going to finish it. We're going to put the decorations in. We're going to run the wires. We're going to tear down the generator in front of the castle and move it. We're going to do all that stuff, and then we decided to take our Sarko out to the ocean and just kind of see how he goes and all that good stuff. And guys, I am delighted to say that we have a name for both the Sarko and our brand new Griffin. So the brand new Sarko that we got, guys, this name comes from Finn Watt, so thank you so much for this. And the name is Rip Jaws, and I thought it was super cool. And for some reason, it snapped me back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Because one of the robots, or one of the, the machines in Horizon Zero Dawn, is a crocodile, and it's called Snap Ma. So I don't know why it made me think of that, but I appreciate the name suggestion, and all the other name suggestions for uh, the Sarko and stuff like that. And then, for our Griffin, there were like four or five of you that, that suggested this name, and the name is Apollo. So thank you from Joe Peck, Miss Sarah 208, Dylan Ravarino, and Matthew Somerville. Thank you guys so freaking much for giving me that awesome name. There were so many great names for the Griffin, um, and I appreciate every single one of you that gave me an awesome name. So thank you guys so freaking much. I always love it when you give me names. It always makes me feel really good <laughs> that you guys are down there in the comment sections uh, interacting with each other and me. I always enjoy it, guys. So Anyways, what do we got planned for today, guys? Well, first off, I said that we are going to go ahead and finish the decorations inside of the hotel, and that is true. I've got a few things that we need to get as far as metal goes, raw metal, not iron ingots. Uh, we need to get some raw metal, we need to get ass loads of freaking wood, and a lot of stone as well, because we're probably going to end up putting in a fireplace in there. I just need the stone. And then, guys, what else are we going to do today? Well... In a couple episodes ago, we were down taming that 150 Spinosaurus, which is now Bloodfin. And we got Minnie the Menace to our Ned the Nuisance. And guys, we have not bred these things yet. Not one bit. And so today, that's all gonna change. So we're gonna make a damn Microraptor army. Why do I want to do that? I don't know, because I'm sadistic as shit. And I want to see what it looks like. I've had a Dimorphodon army. I've had a Vulture army. I've had a Wolf army. And we're about to have a damn Microraptor army. So it's gonna be kind of fun. So I hope everybody is ready. So let's go ahead and start off the day by grabbing a little bit of flint and metal and all that good stuff together. Be while I talk to you for a little bit longer. So, guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention because I am so grateful for the for the fact that this has been a thing. Um, this is now the longest running arc series on my channel, and it's only second, or it's only, let's see, it's first only to the last Scorched Earth series that we did. So the Scorched Earth series, I believe we did 50 episodes, if I'm not mistaken, um, and then one of the... I think the center we did maybe 49, something like that. So this is absolutely the most we've done on Ark. And I'm so freaking happy about that, guys. It's been such a wild freaking ride on Ragnarok from the first episode until now. It's just been so crazy, and we've still got a lot to do, you know? It's it's on track. Like I said at the beginning of this series, it's on track to be probably the biggest ARC series on my channel. And that's all thanks to you guys. You know, you guys, I make the videos, you guys watch the videos, and it's because of you guys watching and interacting and liking them and all that stuff. That's, that's what makes these things get out there, you know? And that's, I'm so appreciative of that, everybody. 
<clears throat> it's very hard to convey that through a microphone, but honestly, if you've watched me for a long time and you know who I am kind of as a person, you will know that I certainly do mean that. Um, so I just kind of wanted to thank you guys, you know? It's been a wild freaking ride, both with videos and subscriber influxes and all that stuff. So welcome, one, let me take this time to welcome the many thousands of you that came within the last two months, and uh, I hope you're ready for the rest of the adventures we go on. So thank you guys so freaking much for all that you do and all the happiness that you've brought me, because it's only going to go up from here, guys, and I'm so excited to see what the future of this channel holds. So I hope you guys are too. So anyways, let's go ahead and get a little bit of grinding done, a little bit of materials gathered and all that good stuff. Got some stuff that I'm going to put inside of there, and then we got to make up the, uh, the other generator and move that bad boy. So guys, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like right here. So we're going to go ahead and put up a door frame right there. So that's going to be the entrance to the first room. And then we're going to put in one of the slanty parts right here. We need the other one. Let's see, where is it at? I know I made... Uh, oh, it's all the way on the end of my bar. That's fun. There we go. So that kind of flows with the build more. And the reason I made it out of stone is because it's made out of stone on the roof. So I figured I'd go ahead and match that aesthetic. And then we'll go ahead and throw a door right there. Okay, good, good stuff. So that works quite well. And it looks pretty good, I gotta say. It looks kind of nifty back here. It's a little bit cramped, but that is quite all right. We can deal with it, you know? Uh, holy freaking hell, that, that freaking voice crack. All right, now let's see. Large storage box, we need more thatch and more wood. So we need to make up a couple of those large storage boxes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and come in here and let's set down some of this furniture. <clears throat> I don't exactly know what is going on with my throat, but it seems that it doesn't like me today, damn thing. All right, so here's what we're going to go and do. We're going to put the fireplace centrally located inside of the room. And I think, okay, hello, lag spike. Jesus, criminy. I don't know what's been going on lately. All right, so let's see. We'll go ahead and pull this out that way. There we go. That's a good looking fireplace. And even though it doesn't stick out of the roof, uh, granted, everyone's going to die inside of here from like carbon monoxide poisoning because of this. But um, we'll look past that for now. Uh, but okie dokie, let's see. Let's go ahead and put on uh, that bad boy right there. And we'll go ahead and put in... We're going to do a couple of dinner tables, I think. So we're going to put one over here, kind of over in this corner. It's not going to be something that you would see in like a gigantic like Norse longhouse. It's not going to be like that um, with a gigantic long dinner table in the middle. I think we're going to do separate tables. One over there and then one over here. I think that could look pretty cool. And then, let's see, we'll pull this out that way a little bit. And then we'll take the chairs that we've got and we'll put them at the the dinner tables and stuff like that. We'll do dinner for two because I can't imagine this is going to be a very, like, if I had to guess, because of the size of the, the structure, I don't think we would be servicing 50 people, you know? It's probably only going to be like two people. <laughs> but let's see. We'll go ahead and put in uh, that right there. And can I flip these around? I don't think I can. Sorry if you just heard that. My computer decided it needed to update something. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's jump. Okay, no, that's not going to work. Uh, let's go ahead and put it right here. In fact, let me go ahead and uh, mute that. <laughs> Dummy. All right, now let's see. That looks good. I like that inside of here. And then to kind of polish off the... Let's see, and kind of to polish off this little area over here, let's go ahead and put in a bench right here, just in case, you know, you get up from the dinner table and you just want to hang out, drink some beers with your friends or something like that. This could be the place to do it. It's still inside of the, the nice, cozy, warm den. We'll put up some, uh, oh, you know what we could put up? Oh, dude, we've got two alpha wyvern heads. Oh, hell yeah, we could put one right there. One right there, and then flood the walls with freaking war maps. Oh, yes. That's what we'll do. Okay. So, kind of a nifty little spot. It's just more uh, more along the lines of, like, a hangout spot, you know? And I think that's kind of nifty. And I'm completely out of wood. But, okay. Now, let's see. Hello there, fog. How beautiful you are on this map. Holy freaking intense sun. Oh, my God. Thing looks like it's 60 times bigger when it's got fog over top of it. But okie dokie, let's go over here and grab some wood together. I already made up the beds. We're going to have two beds inside of there, most likely. Or what we'll go ahead and do is we'll do... It'll be four beds, but it'll be one big bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll do two, uh, two simple beds right next to each other in one room, and then two simple beds next to each other in the other room. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and make up... Uh, we'll make up two of those. We don't need any more than that, and I'm starving to death. Wonderful. 
And we'll go ahead and make up another one of those, because I've got three beds in my inventory, so <clears throat> that will work. But okie dokie. We'll go ahead and come on back over here. It's a little bit of a sprint. Come on, Ryan, keep moving your damn legs. But let's see, before we go back inside, let's go ahead and grab some agua. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and see where I could place this stuff. Okie dokie. Um, all right, so inside of here, I think we're done inside of there. Let's go ahead and take these up here. Oh, but you know, oh wait, no, we're fine. I was going to say, you know what? It's not going to work because it's not tall enough to house a large storage box, but it most certainly is. So we'll go ahead and put this along this wall. It's kind of like a wardrobe. There we go. And then let's see, let's take the simple beds and we'll throw those bad boys onto my, my bar. And we'll go ahead and put in a double bed right here. Just like that. Perfect. I like the way that looks. And so they've got the bare necessities. Like I said, they're going to have a box. They might have a painting in here. In fact, I'll put one right there. Um, and then they've got a bed, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's just kind of the bare necessities. And then over here, I decided to put in that door frame with the doors. It's a lot crowded right here, but that is that we can look past that. Uh, but let's go ahead and put the bed at the top right here, kind of at the, the apex right here. Go ahead and do that, and we'll grab the other bed, and we'll do that just like that. That looks fine. And then we'll take the large storage box, and we'll put it along this wall. You know, honestly, what this kind of reminds me of, this tower, it reminds me of one of the towers from a hearth, uh, a hearthstone, a hearthfire house from Skyrim, and that's kind of nifty. And then because this one's a little bit bigger, we'll put in a nice bench right there. Very, very nice. I like the way that looks a lot. So now all we need to do is make up the war maps, and I'm probably going to make about 10, uh, maybe 20, and we'll put them all around here and all that stuff. And then we need to make up the trophy mounts to mount our Alpha Wyvern heads. But we're pretty much almost done, guys, and then we'll go ahead and tear that down the generator. So next time I come in, we'll most likely have this gone, and then the generator will move it uh, together. All right, you guys, so we got some good stuff on the bar, but right now we just need to see where everything connects as far as cables go. Um, so let's see. I think it connects outside here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we need to come through that way in order to put the generator actually inside of the building. So let's go ahead and come over here, and then we should be able to plop it down like right there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait, what? Or how about there? There we go. That works. I'll take that. All right, now let's see what happens because we need to make sure that this is actually going to work. So let's see. We'll go ahead, take all the gasoline out of that, and then turn it off real quick. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I got perishables. Throw it in there. Did everything come back on inside? Oh, hell yeah. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's make sure everything is indeed in, uh, on inside of here. Yes, indeed. We have power all the way over there. Perfect. So that means we do not need this generator anymore. Now let's just make sure everything stays put the way it is. Uh, demolish. Nailed it. Oh, sweet. That's what I like to see. And then for the wind turbine, I don't exactly know what happened, but um, I lost the blueprint for a wind turbine. I don't exactly know what happened. I don't know where it went. Um, but let's go up here and see if we can actually... Let's see if it's in the box. I don't remember if it is. Um, I don't have any extra wind turbines. So you know what I'm going to have... Well, I can't even learn it then. Because I don't have any more points left, you know? <laughs> That's the problem. Um, shoot. I, it takes 18 points to learn the windmill, and I don't have the blueprint. So I'm going to have to scour some drops uh, to get that blueprint back or another windmill itself. But... And that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and leave that on there for now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take out... I, I got to demolish that. Let's go ahead and take this out. We may as well, because it doesn't really need to be protected anymore. All right. There we go. We'll get some of this metal back. Metal and cementing paste back. Go ahead and take that out as well. Plus, that kind of frees up a little bit of space on this big platform, which I kind of like. And then we'll go ahead and set the generator inside of here to disable, uh, let's see, enable auto, unpowered auto activation. So we'll go ahead and do that. So when that turns on, I'll turn that off. And then when that turns off, it will turn on automatically. So kind of a nice system. And I mean, hell, we could keep it that way. 
Only reason I was going to move this is because I wanted to put it next to the farm to make it look like an actual farmhouse, but maybe we should just keep it there. Maybe that's what we'll do, but okie dokie. Let's go ahead and get these decorations down. So on my bar, I've got some more cables, I've got an electric box, and I've got some flags as well as war maps. So let's see, let's go ahead. I actually had three heads, three alpha wyvern heads. So we're going to go ahead and put them one right there. If I can, there we go. So we'll go ahead and put one right there. Oh, hell yeah, dude, that looks sweet. Go and put one right here. And then the last one, I'm trying to decide where I want the last one to go, perhaps on the outside. Let's go and put this one above this door. I think that might look kind of cool. Let's see, we'll go ahead and do that. And bam. Oh, hell yeah, dude, that looks freaking sweet. All right, and then I figured, you know what? Instead of doing war maps on the outside, what if we did flags to kind of spruce it up a little bit? So we're going to put a flag on every corner. And truthfully, we should probably put flags on the, the towers of the castle. I think that might look kind of cool. We'll paint these as well. We'll paint them green and black as my colors are. All right, now let's see. We'll go ahead and put one right there. Thank you, see. Alrighty, and then these ones are going to be a little bit higher because they're on foundations. Or actually, no, they won't. That one will, but this one won't. But okie dokie, let's see. We'll go ahead and put one right there. And then the last one can go right here. And I think that looks kind of nifty. It's just kind of an accent, you know, that goes around the entire hotel. And then let's see. We'll go ahead and put up some of these paintings or these, these war maps. Go ahead and put one right there. And we'll go ahead and put one right there, kind of cover up that ramp. Another one right there. So we've got three war maps inside of here, very cool. And then inside of here, let's go ahead and put one in here. And close those, there we are. And I'm freaking thirsty again, I need to make another damn canteen. Go and put that right there, oh I like how that looks, that looks super cool. And then we'll go ahead and put another one across from it, on the adjacent wall. And then that looks pretty good. Now, as far as lights go, I just bit my tongue. As far as lights go, we're going to put one right here. We're going to put one over in this corner. I'm going to put one over in this corner, most likely. I'm going to have to make up one more, I think, after this. And then we're going to put one over here. That way it kind of lights up this whole entire spot over here. Um, but yeah, I need to make up one more omnidirectional lamppost to put inside of here in order to have light coverage throughout the entire thing. But let's see, where does this cable come from? Let's see, where's the easiest place to come from? Right here. Oh, dude, that's freaking perfect. That placement, though. Let's see, go ahead and do that. Quick building tip. When you're trying to place cables throughout a building and you can't see the cables, always have one of these boxes on your, uh, like, inside of your inventory. Because then, you won't have to guess where the end is at. You can just, you can find where the end is at, and then place. And you can be confident in your ability to place them instead of just guessing when they're inside of the foundation. Definitely one of the easier ways to make sure that you don't mess up a cable placement and everything inside of your, your home or your building is powered. Now, let's see, how much coverage do I have with this one box? Uh, it's somewhere over here, I believe. There we go. So that one covers three lights, I think. It gets this one. And can't go that way. <laughs> uh, and then it gets... It does not get that one, but it gets the one up top. Okay, very cool. So I'm going to have to make up a couple more of those wires and one more box, I think. But it's coming along quite nicely, guys. And after we get all of this decoration done, we're going to breed those damn micro raptors and we're going to make the damn army. Or at least start the army, I should say. All right, you guys. So the moment has come. Minnie the Menace and Ned the Nuisance, y'all ready to get it on? <laughs> So I went ahead and, and look at Mr. Poopy Butthole. Look at this douchebag. Look at him running. He, is going st he was going straight for the door and then he saw me looking at him and he was like, Oh shit, he's looking at me. Alright, let's go ahead and throw them in. No, I'm going to need to stop closing the door, Ryan. Come on. Get off my shoulder. Get off my shoulder. Why can't I... Th is he even on my shoulder? Yes, he's on my shoulder. Get in there. Okay, come on, big guy. I need you to go through the doorway. Oh my god. What if I go up and over? There we go. <laughs> Look at this. 
I told you, as soon as I turn my back, this mother trucker makes a beeline for the doorway. I don't understand what is wrong with Mr. Poopy Butthole. He is just, I don't know, he's, he's just pretty temperamental, it seems. But okie dokie, let's go ahead and get these two doing the dirty. Close the door so Mr. Poopy Butthole cannot leave. And let's get them in there. Yeah, there we go. Ned and Minnie. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we can get them both on Wander. Uh, enable Wandering. And enable Wandering. Good, good stuff. Hopefully, they'll be fine in there. Hopefully, their Wandering is just walking. If they don't just, like, pick up and fly. That would be awkward. But Minnie the Menace right here... It's going to be a couple minutes before she's ready to hatch, or before the egg is ready to pop out first. Hello there, sweetheart. So I'll be back when they're ready to, uh, or when the egg pops out. Okay, so it's going to hatch real freaking soon. It's going to take 40 seconds, 45 more seconds until it hatches. I've got some meat inside. No, I've got, I don't have any meat inside of my inventory. Good one, Ryan. It's still all inside of your damn dragon. Go ahead and take all that. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Love you so much. But okie dokie. Got them out here. They're just chilling. Let's go ahead and throw them back inside the house. That way they can get some food. Salazar is invisible for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him. Alrighty, there we go. And we'll go ahead and throw the other one in there as well. And this is only the beginning of the Microraptor army, guys. But I gotta show you these guys' freaking stats. They are crazy for Microraptors. Look at this shit. So many... Mini has got 5,098.7 health and 538.9 melee damage. And then this big guy has got 4,034 health and 463.7 uh, melee damage, which is just freaking ridiculous, dude. I mean, those things could do some damage. Oh, shit, we had twins. Oh, shit, we had twins. Come here, big guy. Come here. Okay, there we go. Oh, jeez. Throw some food on their inventory. Go, 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 go. I don't know how quickly these things will die if they don't have food in their inventory. Oh my god, look at how freaking tiny they are! Holy shoot! Let's see, let's go ahead and turn them off of Wandering. And we'll turn this one off of Wandering. And let's see, Behavior, change follow distance to low. And let's see, Behavior, follow distance, low. And then one more setting, Behavior, Stance, Passive. There we go! Oh, look at these two. Let's see, I gotta see if they're male or female. I haven't even checked. All right, let's see. We got male right there, and we got a female right there. Dude, holy shit. First, first freaking egg we hatch. Are you serious, dude? Let's take a second and look at these guys. Come here, you two. Let's see. Let's take a look at them and see what they look like as babies. Look at them. Look at how damn adorable they look. Look at his face. <laughs> they look like little chickens. Holy freaking Jesus, dude. This is adorable. Look at their little faces. Yes, isn't that right, you little cuties? Oh my gosh. These things are adorable. Now, let's see. How quickly are they going to grow up? Um, it seems to be going pretty quick. They're already at 3% maturation, so that's pretty dang good. But let's see. You want to smile pretty for the thumbnail picture? Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn disable ally looking. There we go. Let's see. Should we get... Hmm, I don't know if we should get both of them. Let's see. Let's just get this one. It's crazy. I'm laying down, and they're still smaller than me. They're probably the size of my afro. Look at that. <laughs> Look at his little face. Oh, look at that little face. It's actually freaking terrifying. But let's see. Smile pretty. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh, look at the, look at their little eating animation. They're so curious. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take a couple screenshots of that. There we go. All right. So these two are going to grow up nice, big, and strong. But let's check their stats. So... We are working with 754.5 health, 503 stamina, don't care, and 263.9% melee damage. That's pretty dang good. I don't remember what the stats were to begin with, with the two, with Minnie and Ned. I don't know about that, but uh, that doesn't really matter, because these guys, they're going to be freaking great regardless. Now, let's go ahead and incubate the other one, and let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get a higher level, but different stats. Oh, look at them. They're, like, right next to each other. Oh, look at them. Look at how cute these things are. Oh, my God. They're so freaking cute. But, okay. Let's incubate this next one. Alrighty, here we go. Watch this one be triplets or some shit. I will, I will scream if it's triplets. There we go. Only one. Thank you for being only you there, big guy. So, what do we got? Uh, we've got a male? Female. Awesome. Oh, and this one's a much higher level. Look at that. Let's see, let's go ahead and do the settings and stuff like that. Behavior, stance, passive, behavior, follow distance, low. A boom, bam, look at this one. 
Oh, I like the colors on this one. Look at that. It's more black. Oh, that looks really pretty. So what do we got for stats? We got 308 melee damage and 754 health. Now, wait a second. How much melee damage did these big guys have? Wasn't it like 350? No, it was 263. Okay. Good to know. So we got a better female. That's a good thing. So what we'll end up having to do to get the best stats out of these guys is we'll have to breed this female with this male. That way we can transfer over that 308 freaking melee damage uh, stat and the health as well. 754 health. That's pretty dang good. Oh, look at them just chilling. <laughs> look at them all eating. They're so freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. That deserves a picture of its own. Oh my gosh, these things are so cool looking though when they're kit when they're babies. That's so cool. Alright, so we'll go and throw a little bit more meat on each of them. And then I want to try something. So we have Minnie the Menace and Ned the Nuisance. They are full grown micro raptors. Almost said macro raptors. Don't know what that is. So we'll go ahead and keep these two right here. But I want to see how these two will fare against something. Especially mate boosted, because when they're mate boosted, they're gonna do even more damage. Now let's see, let's go ahead and have you unfollow, and we'll have you unfollow as well. And we'll take them out and see what they can do to something small. I'm not going to put them up against like a damn T-Rex or anything like that, but let's see what they can do against like a deer or maybe like a beaver or something like that. Because I feel like they would do pretty dang well. Let's see, we'll take them away from the castle, make sure nothing gets over here. You guys still behind me? Oh yes they are. Oh, you know what we should get? Oh, and we could probably get, because we've got these Microraptor babies, we could get Trudons, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, I've wanted a damn Trudon for so freaking long. All right, now let's see. There is, like, nothing spawning over here. What is going on? There's normally, like, freaking deer and dire bears and all that bullshit over here. Hello there, big guy. Go get him, boys. Okay, so they do... F she does 43 by herself. What's Ned gonna do with her? Holy shit, he's fast. Look at that. Holy shit! They're friggin' flying! Oh, now they're gonna do 57 damage. Oh, 71, 61? Holy freaking hell! What is this? Oh, it's a packy. Oh, they killed it. Oh, they most certainly freaking killed it. What do we got right here? What level is this Iguanodon? 130! That's a damn good Iguanodon. Let's see, what do we got right here? Male Lystro. Let's see, no, you know what? Let's go against this packy. Let's see, if things get out of hand... Uh, I guess I can't. That's fine. Um, okay, let's try this. Try this, guys. 71, 61 damage. It only does 14 to them. I'll have my gun out just in case I need to step in. Oh, but hell yeah, they're fine. They are more than fine. They attack so damn quickly, guys. That's, oh, jeez, that was a freaking terrifying death. That's only two of them. Imagine having, like, 20 of them, or, like, even better, like, with my freaking Dimorphodon army numbers, imagine having, like, 40 of those damn things. Those things could shred through pretty much anything that you throw at them, with the exception of a Giga and a Titan, obviously, but very, very cool. Well, I'm glad to know that they can handle their own. You coming, Ned? What's going on there, big guy? You need me to pick you up? Need me to pick you up? Okay, I'll pick you up there, buddy. But okie dokie, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode because of what a freaking day, guys. We got three brand new baby Microraptors, and our hotel is certainly up and running. It's good to go. Looks the best it can, and I'm so happy with that, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.